Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. I am going to pull from the Mystic Fork Forest Oracle deck to see what energy comes out, letting you know that you are complete in a heart path. It says, it's not worth pursuing a path without passion. This road will only lead you to uncertainty, frustration. Follow your heart and you can't go wrong. So this is you following your heart and letting things be things that you have no control over. I talk about that all the time. It's hard for us to get into a situation. I have to put something over here next to my desk so that I can be able to um, put my cards because I, I usually pack them on my desk, but I have it so cramped that it's not going to be that way. So um, we're so used to, you know, following paths because, you know, we're trying to help others or we're trying to do things for others or, or not just do things for others, but not, and I'm, I'm respectfully saying appease others, but we're codependent trying to get people to see their potential. And sometimes we end up going down the path of other people's um, to help them with their journey instead of us going on our journey. But we need to know at the same time that we are complete. You are complete. You are not broken. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't spend your time. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your being. It says you are enough now, now and always. And so that is a message that you need to understand that you are complete. So in the process of this, we're going to go ahead and pull uh, from the broken mirror deck to see what it is that you've been dealing with. Um, you guys, again, I can't stress enough to please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Uh, yeah, so you have to understand that the path that you go on is the path that, yeah, a it says a love affair, is the past secrecy third party, um, it says hooking up um, or whatever, and then at the bottom of the deck, unemployed, this keeps coming out. So living beyond their means is something that I... I uh, think when it comes to this energy, my baby, my grandbaby is right here. Hold on one second. Living beyond your means uh, when it comes to dealing with the type of people, um, you can probably hear her beads, um, but living beyond your means uh, when you're dealing with certain people who only really like to see or feel somebody else's energy or to, you know, people to uh, gawk over them and things like that. The unemployed situation it could be your broke best friend. It could be something like that when it comes to you actually trying to get to a situation to where you're making things happen or doing things that you want to do because at some point you keep going back to this certain situation, if that makes sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is like you spend so much time in codependent situations because third parties, things like that, are worrying about everything else and trying to appease somebody who is very materialistic or, you know, um, that you're going to go broke behind, basically, in so many words, you know, without without being disrespectful, you know, it's like you're following their dreams because you give up on yours or you put yours on pause, not necessarily give up, but you put yours on pause, yeah. Look, the candle card came out. Sorry, I hit my speaker microphone. Uh, the candle card came out. Yeah, light, festival, and dedication. You dedicate... And you dim your light. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And that's why that came out. Fatigue, uh, break, time out, and half time. Yeah, you have to take a, a, a break because you're always in mental fatigue, mental, physically, and emotional fatigue because you keep dimming your light in order to try to get somebody to see or to follow, you know, to follow their heart's dreams, if that makes sense. And so, therefore, when it comes to what lies beneath, you have to understand that it says candle, light, festival, and dedication. You're dedicated to the people who you love, and sometimes it can be a heavy, heavy burden and makes you start to question, are you complete, and why do you have to keep going through the same things that you go through? But the universe is telling you to check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself because it's total drama in your actions, and, you know, this could be like a movie scene. You know, it's like you keep repeating, what is that called, when Groundhog's Day, when you, uh, yeah, maybe somebody has addiction issues or whatever, but... You know, you keep repeating the same energies over because you're so dedicated to the same type of energy without learning from the things that you you go through every time. So the universe is saying you are complete. Heal your heart. Heal your heart. Get out of the toxicity or addictions twice, right? 
or abusive relationship type things. And this can be physically, mentally, emotionally abusive, but you have to heal your heart from heartbreak and also understand why you have to separate because the drama that's in that situation, yeah, it's like fake. Blowing kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection returned. You don't have that. And so when it comes to addictions or codependent relationships, you have to check yourself and stop dimming your light for everyone else because you are complete. Whatever you want somebody else to do and whatever potential that you see for somebody else, look, you can lead a horse to water. And I think that's what you've been doing is leading horses to water. But, again, we can't make them drink. And if you're not forcibly making them drink. You're just being patient and waiting for them to drink. And at some point, you just have to say, you know what, enough is enough. The thing is is that if there's going to be a reconciliation, the admiration has to come. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. The admiration has to come from them. It cannot come from you. You have to know that the illusions that you make for yourself avoid the trap of mistaking fantasy for, for real soul connections. And that's what you need to understand is that, you know, the codependent energies and you wanting to reconcile the commitments and the acceptance and reconcile, you know, you have to understand what type of commitment that you want. And if they're not acceptance of you and where, why is this here, the reconciliation here for this situation? Because somebody doesn't admire you like you admire them, if that makes sense. And so, therefore, the separation has to happen. It's going to be sadness. It's going to be heartbreak. There's going to be a lot of healing, a lot of situations that you have to do in order to heal from this. It says commitment is an important factor in building a successful relationship. So if there's third parties or other type of codependent energies, that this person plays thing, you have to dim your light in order for this person to feel special or to let them do what they want to do because that's just them. You make an excuse and you accept the things, you know, that they do. It says be prepared to accept what fate has in store for you. That's what fate has in store for you, not what somebody else has in store for you. So that's what the universe is saying. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Remember Ice Cube? Anyway, the reconciliation. Learn to reconcile with yourself. It says with yourself understand, know why you have to check yourself and understand that you're dimming your light. Your light should be shining bright, but you have to realize that you are complete in this whole situation. You are complete and you cannot allow anybody to make you feel less than because they aren't complete within themselves. You cannot keep giving people the shine that they don't deserve. And so therefore, you have to understand when it comes to being a boss, this is uh, manifest, what is this? Money manifestation. When it comes to being a boss or just running your own castle, you have the key. You have the key. You have everything that you need in order for you to understand. It says it's time to think about everything you're, you, uh, excuse me. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. You appreciate a lot, and maybe they don't appreciate as much as you appreciate in them. But the thing is, is that you appreciate them because you see potential in the situation, but you also understand that there's always drama in them and sometimes it's a good thing that you know it's like okay but it causes more stress than anything else and you know the unemployed factor of this situation you're helping this person manifest the things that they're coming across and also um by you dimming your light you're you're allowing them to shine and be the center of attention if that makes sense i don't know but the cards fell out here bottom of the deck is dream job go after the things that you admire your dream job it says again Recon learn to reconcile with yourself and so that you understanding that you it's time for you to check yourself and go after the things that you want did you ever think you could get paid just uh, for being yourself it's all about you being yourself and these these are two different authors two different card decks but again checking yourself is letting you understand that your healing your heartbreak is about understanding the toxicity the addictions the abusive relationships situationships things like that and understanding that you are complete and that's a discovery that you have to have. It says there is still an essential piece of your puzzle that you have to have yet to discover. A missing piece of information must fall into place before you will know your next step. That's where my tattoo comes in at, is because it's a piece of the puzzle. This is my father's heartbreak. I always tell you guys that. This is a heart with the infinity, um, an infinity symbol, but the heart doesn't end, and nor does the infinity symbol, but it comes up on a puzzle piece. The puzzle piece is like, when will you find the puzzle piece to make these things mesh together and be complete? And that's basically where you have to discover the things that you want, whether it be dream job, whether it be you understanding that you have to get out of this drama-fulfilled 
situation and it's and self-care it's about yourself right it's self-care it's retirement passive income and influencer you have to understand that the best thing this is savings this is you having the key and this is you having the dream to be able to go after the stars right star energy in the jar you know how when you hear people uh, that live in a country i know when we used to go to my grandmother's house in oklahoma we used to try to catch the lightning bugs in the jar um, and see if we could catch them or whatever. And that's like your dreams. You're catching, trying to catch your dreams, but you can't catch anything if you just keep living in total drama and not really following your heart. All of this is about you healing your heart and checking yourself because the thing is, is that you have to know what a commitment is and why you have to feel like you need to accept something or reconcile with somebody. You have to reconcile with yourself. You have to forgive yourself and know that you are complete. It says self-care. If you want to live like royalty, start by treating yourself like royalty. And that's the part of self-care. The retirement energy is here. It says working hard can be a thing of the past because you are you shouldn't have to. Here it is. Did you ever think you could be, get paid uh, just for being yourself? That's a part of being an influencer um, and knowing that you are complete. And it says passive income. It says uh, the best money is made while you're asleep. The money that you make when you sleep, you're supposed to have at least seven different incomes, seven streams of income, and you're not supposed to really be worried about getting up and doing these things. But when you realize what it is that you need to check yourself about, your dream job is the things that you're passionate about. And the influencer might be you telling somebody what it is that you need out of a situation. Hold on one second. This is my mom. Yeah, so the thing is, is like you have to understand that you are complete and everything when it comes to passive income and you retiring, it's retiring to do the things that you want, but it's learning that, you know, again, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you that you are complete and stop dimming your light. So check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know what I mean? Like, and your dream job is not the job that you have to get up and go to, or is it? You know, you could like being in the healthcare industry. You could like, be um you could be you could like being in the you know these industries but the thing is is learning how to control it before it you learning how to control yourself before it controls you and that is the i think that's what's happening this year you know i'm not just with the water signs i just think that everybody is in a situation to where you know they're being called out on their bullshit and also the people who have to discover the things yeah here it is the nine of cups energy the people that need to discover how to live their rewards and go after their rewards are the people that are, you know, have been there. They've been going through something. And now the people that have called them out are being put to the test, if that makes sense, um, or brought to the forefront, you know, and that's how I feel when it comes to, yeah, two of cups energy. So the nine of wands, uh, excuse me, the nine of cups energy is basically like you um, having the emotional stability to be able to make this decisions having your cake and eating it too, but being emotional to make decisions of knowing that this might not be a love to a cup's energy that you want or that you have been going after. You know what I mean? So this is not dimming yourself, checking yourself, understanding that you have to reconcile and be emotional, st stable for yourself before you can be emotional, stable for, for anyone else. And that's, that's how I see that. So, you know, and this is having your cake and eating it too, when it comes to how you, manage self-care your retirement the passive income being an influencer telling your story basically and if you can't tell your story to somebody who you believe can be your everything or whatever um this this has to do with you not being able to trust but at the same time understanding what mutual relationship situationships is and this is by you checking yourself you know and so again you have to understand that that is a situation yeah knight of swords be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. You have to be tough enough to be emotionally stable and not to really see what the toxic, or not to really fall into the toxic energies. This is the devil energy, the toxic uh, energies of the devil. It says, hold on, let me see if I can find it, because I always lose it. Where is it at? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, here it is. Examine and, and Examine and overcome your wants, your hold on hold on hold on your worst fears doubts and dark thoughts it says come confront the darkness and choose the light within and so 
that's what the devil energy is. But the devil energy also is, you know, um, you basically um, getting out of a toxic situation. And again, you remember, it's like be aware of the things that you do, the, like your codependent energies. And, and it goes to the toxicity and addictions here. But remember that the, the um, addiction card or doing drugs card came. But you have to discover your weaknesses. That's basically what it is. Uh, being tough, being ambitious, having emotional control, and understanding the difference between what love and lust is, and then also your your toxicities. And this is being controlled. You know, there's chains here. There's a man and a woman here. This is you being controlled by your thoughts and your, you know, the things that can keep you stagnant. And so, therefore, you're not, yeah, see, um, this is the Six of Pentacles. This is, you're not going to deal with, certain situations you're going to understand how to give to certain things you're not going to um just keep accepting people to treat you some way because you give all the time you're you're like the person who is giving and never really receiving and very generous but at the same time this these are your addictions not being able to balance you know oh this card didn't pick up so i'll take it unsure yeah, and having the realization of what your addictions are. So this card scares me, but I just want to tell you. Look at his eyes. Like, this is a realization, judgment, energy that, you know, it's not, is it going to come through? Wait. He don't have any pupils in his eyes, and I don't like it. It looks exactly what you see if you feel like it's, if it's uh, not. He don't have any pupils in his eyes, but this is a real, real realizing your addictions, that you can let somebody lead you to uh, destruction if you just don't realize that you are complete to be able to go through certain situations, but that's you understanding not to be a fool about certain situations, but to overcome those situations and know that the anxiety, yeah, that your anxiety and also um, the page of wands energy living in the past. So yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment, but the page of wands energy is just letting you know that, you know, when it comes to, you being excitement and being free, you have to be in that, um, you know, I don't care about the past. The past isn't going to hold me back. You know, the, I'm not going to be fearful of the future. I'm going to be in my present moment and not be ang having anxiety anymore. But the four wands is you're going to be harmonious in the same energy, no matter what you do. And this is the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So the Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. And the bottom of the deck basically is just letting us know that these are the things that we should work, we should understand that the drama comes from separation and, and you not, um, it says admiration and going after your dream job and discovering the things that you want and also being able to manifest the things that you need and want. And that is a part of, again, um, what was I going to say? Uh, un it says unemployed, but you living beyond your means or living beyond, you know, dealing with people that are living behind their mean beyond their means, but it's your heart chakra that's telling you to follow your heart, but understand the difference between why you think you should be admiring other people when you should be admiring yourself and loving on yourself. And this is about, you know, literally being in fatigue and what's causing your fatigue. And so that is how I see that energy. But you have to know that you are enough. And the four wands energy being here just lets you know that, you know what, the community, the home, the celebrating and things like that. It all happens when you realize that you are complete. So if this is in regards to a relationship, a situationship, you have to know why you have to stop dimming your light for people who are going to do whatever they want and, you know, basically live beyond their means because they are afraid to face and really go after the things that they want. Let me make sure they're in the upright. Yeah, really. Okay, so those fell all out. The bottom of the deck, yeah. You're going to be successful. The bottom of the deck is you're going to be successful once you realize that what manifestation comes in. You're not going to let anything stop you. This person in this card is in the wheelchair, which would normally be in another card deck. I think it's a chariot. But you're not going to let anything stop you or, de or dim your light once you get to this point. And so justice, consequences of your actions is right here is what I see. But it also comes with, yeah, chariot energy. So remember I said that was a chariot, not even knowing this was here. This is you understanding and being able to to maintain the beast, to 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 get the beast, but understand what your insecurities are, seven of swords energy, and know that you are the Queen of Pentacles. But remember the Queen of Pentacles, like JDS Tarot used to say, can be toxic to herself. You know, but the uh Queen Amon Ra says the Queen of Pentacles is the mother of the zodiac, which uh, you know, we're able to manifest the things, but the Queen of Pentacles 
also says is that a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them no matter what. So this could be in regards to a family member, a friend, uh, uh, somebody who you feel like your, your, you know, uh, situation, whatever it is, you can dim, dim your light by you knowing that you have the ability to be able to manifest anything, but you will take your last dime um, and, and take care of the people who are insecure or the people who are stealing from you because not stealing, it could be anything from stealing your time, money, energy, whatever it is. It's like you have the possibility, you have the, you have the wherewithal to be able to move forward like the chariot movement to move forward or to keep going. Um, but when it comes to these types of energies, these are the energies that you keep looking back for. You know, they tell you to go forward and not look backwards, but you keep looking back because the Knight of Swords energy is here. It's like be tough, be ambitious, know what you want. You really want these people to get it together. But this is why you're not being successful because you keep looking back instead of moving forward. So here it is, you know, the Queen of Pentacles keeps looking back at the Seven of Swords, but the Chariot is telling you to move forward, stop looking back. And, you know, be tough in regards to this situation. And there is the King of Wands energy. Now, the King of Wands energy is somebody who is have who who has um, overcame challenges. You are the King of Wands. But this Knight of, uh, or this Seven of Swords energy, <coughs> oh, excuse me, this Seven of Swords energy could be somebody who has to overcome a lot of challenges. And that could be why you were okay with, you know, staying, uh, staying the course with this, this toxic energy because you were waiting for them to, to stay the course. King of Wands energy could be wands. People say wands are, you know, the male, um, male or female, you know, like sexual type energy. But the King of Wands is basically somebody who has to overcome big, see the big picture. So that could be your energy. That could be a leader and overcome the challenges that you are faced with. But this is also understanding that with the Three of Cups energy, you have to, um, be able to, um, how do you say, like see the difference between the different type of collaborations, friendships, things like that. You have to know and be grateful for them, but also know that with the Ten of Cups, your rewards, your happiness, happy life, happy wife type energy will only come once you overcome all of these things and you start to realize that you are complete. And that's the consequences of your actions, the justice energy. You know, justice is also you doing the right thing for yourself. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It has to do with for yourself first. And I'm going to pull from the emotional, what is this called? The emo, emo, true emotional deck to see where your emotions are with you having to get to this point or where you were at a point in your life where you were very emotional or dealing with a certain type of, yeah, your feelings. Your feelings are nine times out of ten why you're not making these decisions. And the unsure thing, yeah, because your feelings are here because the on and off energies of the hot and cold, the detached energy, somebody ghosting you all the time. And so that is where, you know, if this is a situation to where it's third party, you have to understand that you have to check yourself because this is always going to be hot and cold because somebody is hot and cold because they're not happy with themselves, if that makes sense. And so their feelings, the hot and cold, the ghosted energy is because they're afraid to deal with, yeah, fake busy. So that means a lot when it comes to that, the fake busy thing and look, bad credit. They're fake busy because they're going through all this stuff. It's easier to keep going and to act a certain way and not to deal with your feelings or deal with the feelings. And so, therefore, it causes you to feel, um, uh, and, and I was going to say un invalidated, and in, I don't know, to not feel validated or not to feel loved or whatever so that's where the universe is saying to check yourself check yourself because at some point you have to worry about what you're doing and why you are in a situation to where you feel some type of way i'll pull from the uh, financial deck because again we talked about self-care retirement passive income and being an influencer maybe somebody is changing their their uh yeah unfulfilled yeah changing their careers and things like that because they're unfulfilled and charity they're giving too much you're giving too much to a situation, and therefore, the only thing that you can do is just realize what type of charity charity you're giving, and that is where it comes to this energy. It's like I'm gonna give, to, I'm gonna keep giving to this energy, but I don't feel fulfilled. You know what I mean? It's like these are the people that keep coming around, and are they really begging, or they just keep taking your time? So, bottom of the deck is charity, charity, and you're putting things to a halt. It says, 
see where you can give more of yourself um, to helping others and making a difference. Humanitarian work, human, human rights, justice, which is at the bottom of the deck, I mean, which is this card here, the last card in this deck, um, justice or advocacy work could be right for you. Donating can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. So, so this is you understanding who you can give your time to and who will appreciate it. And that's a part of the influencer part. You have gotten to a situation to where you've been dealing with people that are fake busy when you need them. And so that's where the, the Six of Pentacles, giving to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself and, or in return, and that's where you have to put a halt at. It says money has come to a complete halt or money is, is slow in coming. It says don't borrow more than you can repay. Debt might be piling up. So this is, you know, you waiting for somebody – um, you're waiting for somebody to clear a debt with you. Not that you did it for oh a repayment, but you did it out of you know out of uh, them understanding that they needed something, and nobody is there to be found. Everybody is fake busy. Oh no, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. But this is a part of when you were uh, dimming your light, and now you're checking yourself, and you're realizing that these hot and cold, detached type, fake busy people have me in my feelings because they're not happy. So they're not happy about how they feel about themselves, and therefore they are like nowhere to be found when they see me doing whatever and they see that I'm happy with the little things that I have, which are big to you. If that makes sense, I'm just saying it's just how it's coming out, but you have to stop dimming your light for others and understand why the separations and things like that have to happen, if that makes sense. You know what I want to do? I haven't done this in a while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull Tarot on... Um, these the bottom of the deck so that we can have a little bit more um, clarity in regards to this you guys realize that you are complete I'm gonna leave that up there realize that you are complete you you are complete you are enough and realize also that you know the back and forth games that you keep having with everybody else makes you into a broken mirror and that's where the separations has to come out at so I'll take this Yep, yep, yep. Total drama, heart path, unemployed, um, separation, admiration, and we're going to keep this right here to know that you are complete. Admiration, dream job. Um, we have the pinnacles here. Let me scoot this up a little bit. We have the pinnacles, and this is the overall energy. So this is where you are because you're giving to too many people. So we have you being able to manifest and be successful. That's the overall energy and understanding that you are complete. I think I'll keep that here. Understanding that you are complete and that you have the ability to win and to manifest things. I'll read it again. You are not broken. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't depend your don't don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your being. You are you are enough now and always. So that is what the message is, is that you are complete. And the total drama always comes from not following your heart path. And you know, dealing with people that are fake busy, but they can come and ask you for things. And so that always are full of drama. So you had to take a time out with that. And always with people, these are always the same people that are living beyond their means. Meaning, uh, respectfully, that, you know, um, even if they're not unemployed, I'll say that they will do it for the gram and they will spend all their money. You hear them, you see them doing all this, doing that. And then they turn around and they call you and be like, hey, can I borrow some money? But after you just saw them on a vacation, if that makes sense. And so you're like, okay, I, you know, I'm doing this. But at the same time, why you don't have your shit together? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why are you not? I'm looking for cards. I'm looking around to see what cards I can use. But why you don't have your stuff together? Why is it that you keep asking me for certain things and you're not really, you know what I mean? It's like at some point you see it and you understand and you just don't want to bust nobody out, but you're just tired of dealing with these energies. This card deck is the, uh, yeah, composure. You're holding your composure. It's the purposeful career deck in marketing. You are good at promotions. Apply apply different marketing strategies to grow your business and continue to innovate, uh, attract more sales. And I did that for the dream job, and then the composure is here. So the dream job says, did you ever think you could be get just get, you could get paid just for being yourself? The composure is here. And it says, your calmness is necessary in this situation. Things might be beyond your control, but you have to control, you have control over yourself. Relax, renew, rejuvenate, and renew. And I tell you guys all the time that that is something that I always have to do when it comes to, 
when I start to feel overwhelmed or bogged down. You know, I always have to just kind of sit back, relax, and just go from there. And that is the best thing and the best the, the, the best medicine that I can get is those situations and those feelings by me just sitting still and letting the universe take control of what it is that I they feel like I'm supposed to do because I'm not going to fight with any situations. I just won't do it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull from regular tarot uh, just to see what comes out. Uh, yeah, because... Yeah, it's it's a hard thing to deal with when it comes to, yeah, look at that. The Four of Pentacles showed his face, and also, I think that was the Four of Cups. Uh, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is unsure. Unsure how to complete the cycle. When you get to a situation to where you're unsure, yeah, how to end or complete a cycle, death energy is here. When you get to that place, you're just like, you know what? Sorry, I know that was loud. It's right by the microphone. You're just like, you know what? The only thing that I can do is follow my heart path. Remember, I'm going to read the hard path. It's not worth pursuing a path without passion. This road will only lead you to the uncertainty and frustration. Follow your heart, and you can't go wrong. And that is having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. The unemployed, somebody living beyond their means. It's somebody living by, beyond their means because they're not complete with themselves. They're, okay, I'm not going to take those. Hierophant energies, yeah, they have. you have to unlearn to relearn. Uh, change their belief system. No, I will. I'll, I'll take those. I'll pull these over to see because they're all unsure. This one is not unsure. So Hierophant energy and then, yep, the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is, um, I don't know, let me see. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think. You don't care about the people that's living beyond their means, the ones that's uh, so busy worried about what everybody else feels about them. You're right now at this point to where you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness, five of cups energy. However, you're just like, you know what, I'm disappointed. I'm living in regret. You know, all of these different things that when this comes to, uh, you know, you uh, changing your belief system and, and understand that your confidence has to be there, you cannot be in a situation of Ace of Pentacles energy to where you're unsure about how to manifest the things you want and not having completion. And this is the Knight of Wands energy, my Drake energy. You only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. But when it's unsure, instead of you doing what you love, you're basically in a situation to where you're, anger, you're, you're, you're angry, you're very impulsive, and you're not sure of the Nine of Wands energy, I mean, excuse me, the Nine of Pentacles energy of how you're going to be successful in this situation because this is you being having financial independence, but this is also you being unsure of your self-worth. Maybe you are unemployed. Maybe you have been trying to launch a business with no support. So that's kind of like, that just popped in my head. I didn't even think about that because, again, those cards that came out were you basically – um, following your heart and getting your 401k plan. So I might be talking to some entrepreneurs here, entrepreneurs here, which with self-care and retirement and um, having passive income and being an influencer, this is probably why you are the one that's unemployed or are thinking about quitting your job, you know, but having to keep your composure because the dream job you're having is you being self-employed. Um, so, so being an influencer and keeping your composure, I can just tell you that don't, you know, and I'm not being negative about this. If you feel like you're starting a, job, a, a business in order for your family to support you or whatever because of whatever, whether, you know, you have to understand, you have to have confidence within the outsiders because changing your belief system on how somebody believes in you, you have to be able to believe in yourself. So maybe this is a message for an entrepreneur that you will not have your rewards and not be able to be in your Drake energy or be able to manifest uh, Ace of Pentacles energy if you don't believe in yourself. We also have the devil energy. Yeah, you have to get rid of the toxic energies. You have to get rid of the toxic people, the toxic, situ toxic situations. You have to be able to look and see between the light and the dark. And that's a part of changing your belief system because in this situation, whoever this is about, there's going to be total drama. You're going to be burnt out. There's going to be drama. There's going to be a lot of you having to separate yourself. You're going to have to look at everything from a, a relationship, a situationship, to a job, to a partner. It says it's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner and ask yourself, why is it that I'm still around this person when there is no support? I don't know. Maybe somebody needed to hear that. But then we have the three of pentacles. Yes, because these people, places, and situations don't give you confidence and won't change their belief system on 
their 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 um I'm going to say not not say their unemployment journey. I'm going to say on their employment journey. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say they won't change their belief system to support you, but they will support every entrepreneur that they see on TikTok. If that makes sense, I'm not sure uh how to say this, but trust me, it's not it's not intentional. It's just that they can't believe in something that they've never seen from a person that they come they've been around. If that makes sense. And you know, a lot of people if you go back and look at all the entrepreneurs, oh, and and here it is. This is the unsure energy, but when you realize that you're complete, you're going to be successful. That you don't need anybody's uh you don't need anybody in your family's friends, whatever or close close proximity in your life to make you feel like you like you need their blessings. You don't need anybody else's blessings. You have to unlearn and relearn and be confident within yourself because it's going to cause you to be burnt out if you keep waiting. And the decisions that you have to make through two of Pinnacles energy, those decisions that you have to make alone is the scariest decisions that you have to that you're going to make. So you're going to spark up a lot more drama and take action uh, in in when it comes to you telling people how you really feel like you weren't there for me. Um, you know who's you need to. I think it's uh, what's her name. Justice consequences of your actions. Yeah, consequences of your actions. Justice energy is also doing the right thing. You're going to have to do the right thing. Get away from the drama and also pull your energy, money, finances, whatever it is back for Pentacles energy because you have six years here, six of Pentacles that you've been given. Where's the six of Pentacles? It was in the other card deck. Six of Pentacles you've been given. You have the four. You have three of Pentacles here. You have the ace of Pentacles here. That's four years. It's been close to 10 years. And again, when it comes to the Ace of Pentacles, having the confidence to be able to manifest the things that you want, you're going to realize that your charity that you've been given to everyone else is not going to be the same charity that you receive back. You don't want charity. You just want support. Somebody to say one day, hey, go for it, whether this be a job, a career change, whatever it is. But this is you understanding that the Ace of Wands energy being here is that you have the power to create anything that you desire. So you are the one that's going to have to be able to go after the things, get away from the drama, stop being burnt out, realizing that separation is going to cause sadness, is going to cause all types of things. People are going to be, you're going to be uncertain about the future. People are going to be thinking about you. They're going to be missing you. They're going to come back around. And you're just like, nope, I remember admiration, realizing consequences of somebody's action, justice, energy, right? You're, you're going to be like, I remember how alone I felt and how broken I felt and all I wanted was somebody to support me and that was never happened so that's where the separation comes in at and uh so it's Saturn sat Saturnness it's sadness it's bitterness it's all of those different emotions that's going to come up in your life when it goes back to the four of wands energy when the separation happens it's going to cause you a little bit of harmony or, or a little bit of peace in your life four of wands energy is, you know, community, home, and celebration. You're going to realize the difference between the people that you separated from and the people that will come into your life once you create peace in your life. And the admiration comes. It's like, I'm not mad at you. I realize that I'm complete, and I wanted you to do the same thing that I did for you, which is I gave you charity. I wasn't doing it to, re to, to accept things in return, but I knew that you needed more than what um, uh, you have ever had if that makes sense. And so I admire you from a distance. I love you for who you are, but I can't find with you. You get what I'm saying? And so the admiration comes with your success. So you're going to say, if you even say, or if you even go back and do, I'm successful, but my success came from me learning to love myself. And the harmony and the peace came from me building my own foundation and having peace within my community, within the people who complete me and not deplete me. And that's where the separation came in at because the decisions that I had to make was to leave because you guys burnt me out. You made me feel burnt out. And so when it comes to your dream job, it already says that you're going to be successful. Six of Wands comes out twice with you admiring, at, you know, and actually seeing what it is, but it comes from you moving forward. I felt like it was a card. up. It comes from you moving forward and communicating why you're doing this, what you want. This is what I wanted. I wanted you to support me to understand that I was going to be successful, but I also wanted to communicate with you just for that support. You could have just said, go cancer. That's it. But I had to hold my composure and not really just blow up uh, when it came to certain situations because, again, it's like the movement, the change, and the decisions that I had to make 
and the communication I had to 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 be a part of uh, with myself to 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 steady constantly motivate myself to say I'm not broken. You are enough. Do you, I told you guys to watch B Simone um, the other day in my other read when she talks about um, she says she was broken. You know, she's broken right now. You know, with all the success and her name finally getting out there, realizing who's her real friend and who's not, she feels broken. You know, she's broken. And so that's a part of this energy. You are not broken. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Because when we get to a situation to where we see, you know, things in people and we feel their energies, we always want to fix it and make it better. But your heart path is like, you know what, you know that you've done this. It's not worth pursuing a path without passion. This road will only lead to uncertainty and frustration. Follow your heart and you can go you can't go wrong. And that's a part of understanding where the fatigue is coming in at and knowing that you're complete. It's not that I can't help you, I just can't. So you guys were fake busy. Now I'm really busy. So now here it comes with the fake busy. When it comes to these people, you know, they're like, Oh, cancer acting funny. And you're like, No, 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 no. I never act funny. I just don't act with you no more. Because I, I do it out of, uh, out of kindness for myself, out of love for myself. Because even though I might want to, I don't understand, you know, why it is that, yep, look at that, King of Cups. I don't understand why it is that you couldn't support me, just an in, uh, inkling of how I supported you. But the King of Cups energy is somebody with emotional control. So it's not even, and even if you don't say anything, you realize that you've been given to people. And now the people that you're going to give your energy to, are the people that where it comes the three of pentacles somewhere that you are that 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 support you and that admire you not necessarily admire I'm saying that wrong the people that basically look at that yep this is manifestation the pay, people that basically support you and that's the new communities that you go into that basically support you and the unknown the people that you don't know you had to manifest change and really give to certain situations of people who really didn't support you. And that is where the moon and the magician energy comes in at because you don't know. But that is the five of pentacles, you know, the, 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 the struggle that you went through, the struggle and anxiety that you went through. And I'm going to go ahead and turn these cards over because they're upright, even though they messed up my, my letters. They're upright. And, um, yeah. Yeah. It's just like the universe is saying, it's time. It's your time to shine. What was that? My grandbaby used to watch these uh, this, uh, robots. Uh, I forget what they are. Yeah, because here, yeah, the Six of Pentacles, the charity. You remember how the, the nostalgia, the love, and everything that you have for a person, place, thing, or situation, and also the conflicts that you have, five of, of a wand's energy, and the burdens that it costs you. It costs you so much burdens and everything. And so here it is with the Page of Cups. You had to go back to a situation to where you felt like I have to be the dreamer again. I have to be, you know, sensitive about my shh. Like Erica Badu said, you have to be sensitive about the things that you want, you about the following your heart. You have to be sensitive about those things in order for you to get to a point to where, you know what, I am very um, happy about my creativity and the things that I want, and I need to pump myself up, hermit energy, go through, go within and do some soul searching and be able to, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, give to myself to understand that I have the power and the money and the finances and everything to manifest whatever it is that I want. But the Queen of Pentacles, I've been toxic to myself, like JDS Terrell says. She's not in the reverse, but she's the one who's able to manifest the things that she wants, he or she wants. And so this is you you understanding the, your, your, your need to nurture situations, to provide financial support for people, but it also is to understand that you have to be practical in regards to doing these things. And uh, what the world card is here, which is completion. You know, there's completion here. You understand what it is that you are complete. You are complete. And the struggle made you realize, judgment energy, the realization that you are complete. And it all tops off with the chariot, moving forward with confidence. And so that is how I see that energy. You had to real move forward with confidence and realize that you have the power to manifest and to, 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 to manifest through the struggle my throat shocker. You see, I'm about to choke. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm about to choke. Hold on. 
okay, I had to cough. Somebody's throat chakra is off, but you had the power to manifest the things that you want. You just had to sit and be still, hold your composure. Sometimes holding your composure is not speaking, but just constantly manifesting through the things that you want to know that you want this dream job, to know that you have to be able to sit still and practice self-care. And that's a part of learning, you know, whether it's you understanding the calmness, relaxing, understanding what you want and what you want and how you want to do it. But that's the communication that you have to have with yourself. And that's about holding your composure. So again, the Ace of Pentacles energy is being able to understand you have the power to manifest anything, any kind of new opportunities, any kind of abundance, and also where the uh, magician energy is with the moon. Even though you're unsure of what the what the past, what the future holds, you know the past taught you a lesson. Like old Rafiki says, you either can run from it or you can learn from it. Yes, the past can hurt, but you can run from it or you can learn from it. You remember Simba, he swung the stick again, and Simba said, "What you you know? Why you hit me?" He said, "Because yes, the past can hurt, but you can either run from it or can learn from it." And then when he swung it again, Simba dug down, and he was like, "Where are you going?" He says, "To go reclaim my." you know, my, my land or whatever, you know, and that, that's the thing we have to learn from it and the past can hurt, but we learn from it and it's nothing that we can do for the future. We can only be in the present. And so that is how I see this energy when it comes to understanding that you are complete, you have the power to manifest anything that you want and you're going to be successful, but the struggle taught you that. So thank this person. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And that lesson is you are complete. And so there you have it. You're not waiting on anybody else to make you feel less than. You're just moving forward. The blue turquoise is the crystal deck and the four agreements is don't make assumptions. Yes, don't assume anything. So if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements uh, and also the crystal deck, I'll put the links up above. Um, it says the throat chakra and the third eye chakra. I just told you my throat eye, my throat chakra was just off. It's communication, releasing, and healing. And that is this here, communication, holding your, commu your composer, co composure, releasing by saying, I am enough. I am enough. That should be your affirmation. I am enough. And I am is Aries type energy, meaning that I am a warrior. I am an initiator. And I am, um, what does it say? Con confrontative. Uh, that's the Aries energy I'm, I'm reading over here. But with cancer, cancer, we feel. So we feel however you feel, you're going to hold that in, but you have to learn to release that. You have to learn to release that and understand that, you know, how you feel is going to either hurt you, uh, hinder you, or help you in a, in a situation to where you have to know and be able to manifest and trust in yourself, if that makes sense. So don't make assumptions. Eliminate gossip. Don't care about how nobody feels about you. It says making assumptions is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong. And so that is where we get to when it comes to why we talk ourselves out of what others have been doing. And we also pick up that phone and call somebody and say, I can't believe that. Someone so did that, you know, and they'd be like, girl, I know, or whatever, I know you, all that stuff you've done. And it's like, you know what? Thank yourself because you were, had the ability and the power to be able to do something for a person who you know is lacking something. So, you know, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation taught you about the ebb and flows of life, the will of fortune, you know, the ebb, of flow, ebb and flows of life, which is either to roll with it or go with the flow, but you're not in that situation. You were unsure about how to get out of that situation. So now here it is. The only thing you can do is understand that this is a negative control that somebody has on you. And this is when you're out of control and have a, a lack of focus when you're unsure about the ebb and flows of life. But what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and understand that you with the blue turquoise, you have to communicate, release, and then heal. And that's what this whole thing is about. Understanding that you're healing from the struggle, no matter what struggle it is, and knowing that you are complete. And you're going to be successful by you manifesting the things that you want. I speak my truth with ease. And that is how you're going to eliminate the gossip. You're not going to go to a friend and say, girl, you know what happened. You're going to go to that person and communicate what it is and say, you know, I admired you in this relationship. But 
I'm successful because of the fact that I had to separate myself to have peace and harmony because there was no support in the situation. So if so-and-so shows up, then that fake busy that happens, you're going to be able to emotionally have control over your conversation and move forward. And that's where we all want to be at in that situation. So let's let this old energy go. I appreciate and I love you guys. Um, well, you know what? No, wait. Let me pull from the, oh, I don't know what this, oh, this is the how to win at love. I'm going to pull that how to win at love, but I'm also going to pull from the, I was looking for the karmic, oh, I think it's over there. I was looking for the karmic uh, soulmate um, twin flame energy, but uh, this is how to win at love. I'll pull from here. Uh, in order to realize that if this is in regards to a relationship, you know, this is how to win at love. Let them take the wheel. There you have it. Let them take the wheel. At the bottom of the deck is heal your inner child wounds. And that's a lot of things that happens when it comes to the past energies. And it said, and when, why, why we're so codependent on trying to just be there. I've been watching a lot of shows. I didn't believe I had any childhood energies or any childhood wounds at all. I believe that me and my sisters grew up in the same house, but yet we are so different. But I also know that it was certain things that me and my mom talk about. This is nothing that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hiding from her or whatever. I'm just very affectionate. I'm a cancer. I want to, I was, I was hairy. I didn't like sleeping in the dark. Those little things, like the little things, it's like why I'm always there for my kids. You know, like I gave them hugs. I gave them, you know, I told them, I, I tell them I love them every five seconds. You know, those things are the things that make cancers feel complete. It's not that my mom, she did anything wrong. No, she didn't. She was there for me my whole fuck, excuse me, my whole life. It wasn't the way that I felt like she should be there for me because I assumed that uh, she felt a certain way or something like that, if that makes sense. So let's read this. Um, when you bring this inner child into view, you can start to see how you can limit yourself from experiencing a, and cultivating healthier relationships. And so that was like, I have a relationship with my kids like that. Like I'm overbearing and I'm only that way because I felt like I didn't receive that. But in actuality, I did. I did, but I didn't receive it the way that I wanted it. So I made the assumption that my mom felt some type of way, and it wasn't that. It was just that she's not an affectionate person, and I am, and I want to be loved differently, you know? So let them take the wheel. Step back and let them take the wheel. Trust that they are taking you where you want to go. Show them you have faith in the relationship uh, in relationship decisions too. So this is this takes time. If this is a situation about... A relationship again this takes time about letting somebody take the wheel so there you have it this might be what you communicate and if it's a marriage or something like that I don't know that card deck came to the forefront so now I'm gonna pull from the karmic partner and the twin flame relationship yeah so you know and it, it's it's easier said than done but the thing is here, I'll show you why I thought these was kind of like the same cards. They're both blue, so I wasn't even looking at it. You know, so the thing is, is that you have to understand that when it comes to, yeah, you're dealing with the twin flame type of situation, awakening. You have to have this awakening of your attachments, and that's where that situation is coming out at. The attachments at the bottom of the deck. So your inner child wounds come from attachments, codependent energies from past. Get to know your attachments pattern, your attachment patterns, and this is karmic. Get to know your attachment patterns so you can be more conscious uh, in your romantic relationships and stop self-sabotaging. So this is something that somebody needs to know. The struggle could be coming from self-sabotaging. It could be coming from your person's situation and how they are self-sabotaging based upon the way that they are they feel, you know, and why they do certain things and why you have to separate. But it causes toxicity within your inner self because you get to question in the way that you feel about certain things, if that makes sense. So the awakening, your twin is awakening to your connection and they re they're ready to put in the work to manifest a reunion in the 3D world. Expect some progress. So again, these two are for people who are waiting for their person to come back. You might not be or you might be. It's let them take the wheel and let them have their awakening. But they have to have the awakening before they can take any type of wheel. But this is where you learn to communicate, release, and heal. And this goes on both parts of the situation, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go, you know, healing your inner child wounds. 
and also realizing your codependencies because attachments are codependent energies. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. Happy birthday, Cancers. I love you guys. Yesterday was my favorite aunt's birthday. She was a Cancer, and I love her so much, and rest in peace, though. Good, goodbye, you guys. I love you.